Holy shit, that's not a janky setup, is it? Okay, up on the why you wasting money on that piece of crap healing bench today we've got a razor e150 scooter um it was a k-bed auction purchased for 15 bucks um didn't expect it to work it didn't um turns out the batteries are just bad before we, before we go any further let's Throw another battery in there to see if it actually moves. Uh, these are 212 volts. So the closest thing I got is a six cell LiPo. So that's, you know, a little over 22 volts. We'll throw that in there and see if it'll actually move and do something. And if it does, well, we'll figure out what to do with it after that. So we've got a six cell LiPo running the brushed motor. And we're getting seven to eight miles an hour out of it, top speed. So as you can see, it actually did work, it did go forward. Um, it was slow. I'm not sure if that's normal speeds for one of these things or if it's just because I'm down a little bit on voltage, but we'll uh, have to fix that. Let's try something else. And what I've got in mind is a brushless. This is a E-Flight Power 160 brushless motor for an RC airplane and a 100 amp ESC. Um, let's throw those into this thing and see what it'll do. May do nothing, maybe worse, I don't know. Um, I did happen to find a little uh, sprocket that matches the same pitch as the chain on the scooter. And it actually is an 8mm shaft just like the motor is, so it slides right on there. So, lucky. So, what we'll have to do is just drill a couple holes in the chassis or in the, in the motor mount and uh, bolt this in. And... We'll just use a maybe like an RC car controller for a throttle for now. To see if it actually does anything. And if I guess if it does do something, well then we can do some work with the the throttle on the thing and see if we can make something work with that. So let's tear into it. Okay, after some tomfoolery with the programming and the transmitter and the radio we got motion so we'll call that a win let's get this motor mounted in it see what it does so there we go a couple uh just one hole drilled used one of the original holes and stuck it in there and did my best to align the Gears looks okay, I guess, but more importantly, moves forward. I don't know. Doesn't seem real fast, but let's get it out in the street and see what happens. I guess. Holy shit, that's not a janky setup, is it?
well let's screw the plate on it power it up and see what the hell happens yee sketchy <laughs> Shit, that's fast. All right, well, I made it up to about 17, 18 miles an hour. Um, it does want to wheelie really bad, so the gear ratio is way off, but I don't have any other gear, so I want to make it a little bit faster. We're going to add an additional two-cell battery pack to the um, to it, so we'll actually just uh, series that one in. We'll end up with an eight-cell. So there's an eight cell uh, ESC and motor so put that and see what happens so there's right ways to do things and there's this way but um, we ended up with a six there's two more cells it gives us our eight cells um, we'll see if we get to go any faster than whatever 16 miles an hour it went before Well, I guess we'll call that a success, successful experiment on modifying a small little scooter. Uh, it did do 20.3 miles per hour. Doesn't sound like all that fast, but on something this small um, and with a solid rubber rear tire, which is obviously very very tiny, very thin, um, it was a it was a bit of a handful. Um, it did want a wheelie a lot. At any point in time you touch the throttle so i don't think we're gonna leave this thing together i don't know it was fun to try but that motor is much more valuable in the rc plane that it's supposed to be in so i'll probably move it back and put it in there and i'll conclude this video thanks for watching and we'll see you soon